In this video, we'll be learning how to evaluate polynomials using the nested scheme, which is also known as Horner's method. Now, we're given a polynomial function here, f of x equals to 2x cubed minus x squared plus 3x plus 5, and we need to evaluate this when x equals to 5. Well, what the nested scheme provides us with is a quick method for calculating this. Now, the way we do this is we focus on all the coefficients we see inside the polynomial function. So looking at this, we can see we have a 2, a negative 1, a 3, and a 5. And we're going to write these coefficients inside a table as follows. A very simple table. And we write the coefficients. So that was 2, negative 1, 3, and 5. Now, remember we wanted to evaluate this function when x equals to 5 we write the 5 here on the left hand side. The next thing we do is carry down this leading coefficient 2 and we write it here. Now everything's ready to evaluate this polynomial. So the way this is done, we multiply the 5 with the 2. So 5 times 2, that leads us to 10. And we write this 10 beneath the second coefficient, negative 1. Now negative 1 plus 10 leads us to 9, which we write below. We start over. 5 times 9 is 45, which we write below the 3. Now, 3 plus 45 is 48. Finally, 5 times 48 is 240, which we write beneath the 5. And our final step, 5 plus 240 is 245. And we're done. We've just evaluated this polynomial at x equals to 5. In other words, f of 5 equals to 245. And that's how the nested scheme works. Let's look at another example. Let's say we're given the following polynomial. g of x equals to 5x to the power of 4 minus 3x squared plus x minus 8 and we're asked to evaluate this when x equals to negative 2. Well, looking at this polynomial function, one thing we notice is that it doesn't have any x cubed term. What this means is is that the x cubed term's coefficient is 0, and we must remember to write that inside the table. So let's go ahead. We draw our table. The leading term is 5x to the power 4, so we have 5. We don't have an x cubed term, so we write 0. Next, we have negative 3, 1, and negative 8. And remember, we want to evaluate this polynomial when x equals to negative 2. So we carry down the leading term, 5. Now, negative 2 times 5 leads us to negative 10, which we write here. 0 plus negative 10 is negative 10. Now, negative 2 times negative 10 leads us to 20. Negative 3 plus 20 leads us to 17. Now negative 2 times 17 leads us to negative 34. 1 plus negative 34 leads us to negative 33. Negative 2 times negative 33 leads us to 66. Finally, negative 8 plus 66 leads us to 58. And there we have it. This polynomial equals to 58 when x equals to negative 2. In other words, g of negative 2 equals to 58. Okay, let's look at one last example. Let's say we're asked to evaluate h of x equals to 6 plus x to the power of 5 minus 2x squared plus 4x 
and we're asked to evaluate this when x equals to 3. Well, a couple of things are worth pointing out here. First of all, we can see that this polynomial function isn't written in decreasing powers of x. So we're going to start by doing that. Remember, the polynomial function should always be written in decreasing powers of x. So that's h of x equals to x to the power of 5 minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 6. The second thing we notice is that there is no x to the power 4 term nor an x to the power of 3 term. So we'll want to make sure we write those zero coefficients inside our table. So let's go right ahead and get that done. We start with our table and the coefficients. So that's 1, 0 for the x4 term, 0 for the x to the power of 3 term, negative 2, 4, and 6. And remember, we wish to evaluate this when x equals to 3. So we go ahead and carry down the 1. 3 times 1 is, of course, 3. So we write that here. 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is, of course, 9. 0 plus 9 is, of course, 9. 3 times 9 is 27. Negative 2 plus 27 leads us to 25. 3 times 25 is 75. 4 plus 75 leads us to 79. 3 times 79 leads us to 237. And finally, 6 plus 237 leads us to 243. And so we can write h of 3 equals to 243. And there you have it. That's how to use the nested scheme to evaluate polynomial functions.